Well, it is sick season. We're talking cold, flu, COVID, and with the highly contagious Omicron variant on the minds of many of us here with preventative health measures you might not have considered is Dr. Jamie Wallace, the chief medical officer at Pasteur University for Natural Health. Good morning, Dr. Wallace. Thanks for being here with us. Oh, good morning. It's great to be here with you. Okay, so with the pandemic, there's a lot more anxiety about getting sick. It's something that we've all had to deal with over the last two years, thinking about, stressing about. So let's start with what happens when we do get sick. How do we handle this in pandemic times? Well, first off, there's really no shame in catching a virus. Viruses are part of our lives. They have been for as long as we uh, have history. Uh, generally, it's best to stay home, uh, rest, and uh, stay hydrated, and don't pass it on to others. Uh, if you think it's COVID or you know it's COVID, get in touch with your doctor and let them know. And, and extremely important is that if your symptoms get significantly worse or your breathing starts to get difficult, call your doctor right away. Yeah, and I mean, as you mentioned, sometimes it's unavoidable catching viruses. We can do everything we can to try and avoid them, but sometimes you're going to get sick. And if we do get sick and it's okay for us to just rest at home, how do you suggest we get some relief? Well, it's uh, particularly more challenging this uh, time with the pandemic because there's an extra level of stress. It's just more to worry about. Uh, there are some basic preventive things that you can do that, that we know are good, like staying home and don't spreading it. Avoiding inflammatory foods, those processed, sugary, fried foods. Uh, general rule is if you can't read the label or you don't understand the ingredients, you probably should not eat it. Uh, focus on low inflammation foods, such as uh, diets rich in vegetables, uh, bone broths. Think about things like garlic and onions and ginger and other spices. Berries are excellent for the immune system. There are also some things I like to do for symptomatic relief. Uh, a lot of times folks might have a scratchy or sore throat. So, you know, something as simple as uh, local honey and hot water or some herbal teas. Uh, replace that red cough syrup with elderberry syrup, for example. It's safe. It's good for kids. There's antimicrobial, uh, antiviral uh, properties. Uh, no side effects, no nasty chemicals or dyes. Folks with uh, congestion, you can use a neti pot, use distilled water and some salt and baking soda to clear that mucus out of your nose to help you breathe better. That also clears out viruses. Uh, and then hydrotherapy, old time naturopathic uh, treatments, uh, cool or hot washcloth to the forehead or the back of the neck can be very soothing. And then there's also, you know, the steamy shower helps with muscle aches, uh, respiratory dis discomfort. Some folks like to add a little bit of, say, eucalyptus oil or other essential oil to help open up the airways. Eucalyptus oil in a shower sounds really refreshing too. That's that sounds awesome. Now we did talk about how it can be sometimes unavoidable to catch a virus, but we obviously want to avoid getting sick. So what is what's some advice that you have to try and avoid getting sick in the first place? Well, in naturopathy, we always talk about uh, parking spaces. If there are parking spaces, viruses and bacteria are going to park. So we really want to make our body an unwelcome host so that viruses don't set up camp. You know, and as a naturopathic doc and the chief medical officer at Bastyr Center for Natural Health here in Seattle, I recommend COVID vaccines and boosters. It's really proactive and your best chance of beating the virus. We offer them at our teaching clinic on Stone Way. And you know the basics and they work. Wash your hands, wear your mask, wear your mask so that's well fitting. Make sure that you get that little piece of metal around the nose to prevent airflow in and out. That's how the viruses uh, get into our, our uh, uh, nasal passages and stay distanced. And, you know, when we're talking about things to just help our bodies, especially, what are some things that we can do for free, maybe at home, um, that can kind of help our bodies through this time? Well, here's a fun fact that a lot of folks may not know, that about 70 to 80 percent of your immune system is in your gut. It's in your digestive tract. So it's really important to take care of your tummy and make sure everything's working. So, you know, one of my favorites is uh, what we sort of nicknamed the COVID tea. And uh, it's a live apple cider vinegar with a little local honey uh, and some fresh grated ginger. And I've added some elderberry syrup to give it a little bit more flavor. And that's also got that antiviral uh, properties. Very soothing, tonifies the digestive function so that it works better. It supports the good gut bacteria. It's pretty cheap relatively. It's very easy. Uh, the apple cider vinegar is uh, uh, something I love, but some folks find it a little bit more of a acquired taste. So the elderberry syrup helps there. Other very basic things, managing your stress. Uh, I, I meditate, uh, do yoga. Uh, you know, Self-care is really important to reduce stress because stress actually hampers or dampens 
the immune function. Sleep is absolutely critical. It, uh, it's like recharging your batteries, uh, taking the car into the shop for a tune-up or maintenance. If, you're, if we're not sleeping, our immune system's not going to work. Movement is one of the most important things. And, and when I tell people to move, they often think, oh, I have to get a gym membership. And, and actually, it's just moving. It's even getting up and walking around your house. Ideally, you'd walk outside, see some trees. Green is very helpful for the immune system. So, you know, looking at flowers and plants and trees and so forth. And then, you know, physical activity boosts the immune function and it helps uh, one's mental outlook. Another really important factor that a lot of folks miss is connecting with others and the moral support, the ability, you know, as humans, we are social beings. It's really important to connect with others to help our outlook and our immune function. So don't be afraid to reach out. And, and do it in a safe way, of course, because we are still in a pandemic, but that is an important yeah. one. Well, thank you yep. so much, Dr. Jamie Wallace, the Chief Medical Officer at Bastyr University Center for Natural Health. We appreciate you so much for being here with us this morning. Thank you for having me. Stay safe, everybody. You too. We'll be right back.